Welcome back. And we're now moving on to that segment, which we call the home run. And that's where we have the artist of the week. And like we said at the beginning, if you know the word Jaga Jaga, the person that made it very popular in Nigeria, and that actually upset our president and commander in chief of the Nigerian Armed Forces once upon a time. He is right here. A better way of putting it now. <laughs> So we've got him right here in the studio, Idris Abdul Karim, a Nigerian hip hop artist. And um, I was told you were born into a polygamous family. <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> how busy know. was your father then? Oh, it's, well, you know. Um, he had how many wives? My dad had about two wives. Two. Two. Two, yeah. Oh, two. Only. It's much, though. Only two. If you can't handle one, <laughs> one even one woman, you no, know, if you can't handle, you know, so two is much. Two is much. Polygamy, yeah. How did you manage to get to upset the president of Nigeria? That must have been something. Oh, okay. Um, um, by the way, my kind of music is a social conscious songs. Yes. You know, um, I felt like it is important that uh, when you play music, you should pass message across to the people. So when I came out with songs like Mr. Lecturer, I was talking about sexual harassment in our campuses. You know, I was nominated by the approximately 22 million Nigerians to raise the Olympic torch yeah. 2004 with Professor Patutomi, Dora Kinyuli, Shegun Odebami, Beckham and all those people. So after that, I felt it was um, my responsibility to speak the truth for Nigeria, no matter how it is, even if you don't like truth. You know mm. what I'm saying? So I came up with Nigeria Jaga Jaga. And um, the president came on the national TV and said, that boy wasting Jaga Jaga and I'm Papa. I am mama and family, jada, jada. <laughs> and I was very happy that my message got to the president and he made me a superstar. You know, that was 12 years ago and I've been vindicated. Anyway, now Do you still feel that my boy is still Jaga Jaga? Well, you know, presently, you know, sincerely speaking, um, in less than three years that Good Luck has become the president. I don't used to like Good Luck because I believe he works for Obama. President Goodluck. Yes, President Goodluck, Jonathan. Good. I believe he works for Baba. That was before. But now, it's very obvious that Goodluck, Billy Jonathan, has keen interest of Nigerian at heart. In less than three years, the seventh, the 15th years, uh, what's it called? Lagos Ibadan Express Red, uh, Road is being, you know, monitored and taken care of and production. I mean, work is going on. Our airport has been reformed. Go to any of our airports before. You go to cover our nose, say anything that happened for this country, you know. And even the railway itself. So this guy has good heart for Nigerians, you know what I'm saying. And it is important that somebody must talk. And I'll be, yeah, I'm the only person that can speak that. Most people are scared to talk about the truth, you know. But what Allah said, don't be scared of anybody, but be scared of me. So my responsibility is to put inspiration, you know, of what is happening together and get it back to the people. So I will give good luck, Ebele, Jonathan, a mark to continue. Even though we know that the insecurity is a propaganda. Okay. Well, we don't. We are not doing politics <laughs> this morning. So it's about. I'm not a politician. I'm just and, saying. Um, you say you interpret your music um, in a social way. That's right. And um, and you do it hip hop. Why? Hip hop expresses itself. That's what hip hop is all about. It's lifestyle. It talks about everything that you do. Your lifestyle. How do you live? You know what I'm saying? So it is my responsibility to talk about the things that happen to me, to the people. You know, I'm the voice of the voiceless. I need to speak to the people. I don't have to sing about booty and all that. You know? oh, okay. Now, uh, there was a time that you were said to have had um, some issues with foreign artists, especially 50 Cent. That's right. And um, some people said you chose to be what you call the voice for the voiceless by uh, kicking against the treatment of foreign artists as against the way that um, uh, agents and other people treat our own artists. What was, what was the reason? This is very simple, years? you see. Um, in 2004, I was in Germany when I heard a call from the organizer of the event, and they said that, um, Idris, please, we want you to come and perform alongside with 50 Cent. So I told them that, okay, cool. Listen, man, whatever you're giving 50 Cent, that's what you're giving me. If you're giving 50 Cent an executive room, I want my room to be opposite 50 Cent. If you're giving 50 Cent 70 carton of champagne, I want to have the same thing. If you're giving 50 Cent 70 carton of Don Perignon, I want to have the same thing. If you're giving 50 Cent 17 G, I want to have the same thing. You know why? What's the difference between me and 50 Cent? I, Idris Abdukari, will be on stage to perform two hours, and 50 Cent is coming to perform for 50 minutes. And apart from that, 
Who are the people buying the product? Are they Americans? What happened to the uh, what happened to prof for the profit after tax? And what happened to the consumer benefit? Was there anything no. that happened before this that like, you no, had no, 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 no. all these conditions? Oh yes, I had a contract with them that whatever you're giving fifty cent, you must give me. So when I got up on plane and I sat down, you know, was chilling, waiting for the fifty cent and the school to come in and. Um, after two hours, they came in and they were like, they woke up to me and like, hey, you've got to get the f after that seat. If you know what I'm saying, I don't want to say it on here. You got to get the F out of that seat. I was like, excuse me? We don't speak F in Africa. I don't know what our F is all about. My name is Idris Abdukarim. I'm performing alongside with you and I'm supposed to be sitting here. Maybe you should sit down and tell me much about America, how the industry works. And he was like, oh, okay, you're performing alongside with me. And the studio went downstairs, talked to the organizer, and the organizer was like this. And he came back, he was like, I just spoke with the organizer and they said, they don't know who you are. And I was attacked immediately by 15 cents at the school. Meanwhile, all the Nigerian artists were in the plane watching. Like we're living in 24th slavery. Come on, man. No. And I can understand why. Because most of them wouldn't want to support me because they are looking for favor from the companies to give them events. But come on, man. We all have read about Chris Park and Rosa Park's history. The first black woman that stood up for that, like, listen, you don't want me to sit? I'm sitting. If Nigerians are the ones drinking the beer and you can promote your music, you can promote your product without our music, it is our responsibility that you treat your artists very well with respect and love. And that I've changed. I've made that history. And that's the reason why every Nigerian artist has been respected today. But at that point, the Nigerian musicians they never, were, they, they, they were, wouldn't see it no, that way. Be, you are, all of them were like, like, the world. World. It's just a few people. It. It's just few people, you know, that stood by me. And I'm so happy about it. Some people call you rebel. Do you feel and like yes, a rebel? And yes, I'm a rebel. I'm a musical rebel. You know why? Because I speak the truth. Allah Akbar Kabira. I'm a Muslim. And I speak the truth whether anybody likes it or not. So what truth are you speaking presently? Yes, the present truth is, Baba should leave good luck alone. Uh -oh. <laughs> that's going back. Yes, that's it. Okay, okay. explain, explain the reason. No, explain, it alone. no, explain the reason why you feel so strongly about that. Beautiful. Okay, good. Now, everybody has scared to talk, right? So I take it as a responsibility. I don't know good luck. I've never met him before. Do you understand? But the point is, if you bring, you brought good luck to be the president. President, good luck. To I mean, sorry, president, good luck. Respect, but I yes. brought good luck to be the president. You understand what I'm saying? And all of a sudden, he's trying to kiss his ass out of the... No, sorry, government. mind the words. You sorry. Yes. yes, okay. Sorry, you yes. know, sorry. Take it in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, sorry, I'm passionate, please. <laughs> okay. But okay. try and understand me. Okay. okay, yeah. I'm very passionate and emotional about this. Okay, okay. Right? go on then. You know, so, so it, Baba should leave good president, good luck, Jonathan, alone. All right. Baba has been president two times. Yes. He should bring his report card and show us all the things he has done. And good luck should bring his own and let's see what's worked. Simple. Let you should just live in What there. work have you seen that as has far inspired as I'm you? So hold on, let yes. me ask the question. Let yes. me ask the question. Just hold yes. on. What work have you seen of the current president that has made you feel so inspired and so passionate that you feel this man that I've never met, That's I right. just believe in him and I want him to get a second time or whatever it is. Beautiful. Since I was born in Nigeria and growing up. I've always known that propaganda is the issue, and they just share the money up and down. This Lagos Expressway has been there for 15 years. By the former um, Minister of Works of Baba, which is um, Chief Tony Anini, and they didn't do anything. Good luck is doing that road. That's the federal government road. He's working on it. Secondly, our effort has been reformed. Thirdly, our agric culture sector farmers don't get their fertilizer directly but today they get their fertilizer fertilizer is a big business mm. so it is important we say all these things because so, it is important we say all these things because most people don't know we all know that the insecurity is just to cover out this guy okay wait let me ask you a question do you remember when baba traveled to meduguri well, I can't answer why because no, no, you, 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 you are, I you are a journalist. You are a journalist. You are, you I have to, we are supposed my to job, know more about, about My job about is to ask questions, to answer oh, questions. Oh, so, so, okay. So, you so, will answer the so question. So, what I'm now saying is this. Question. Baba should leave good luck alone. Okay. Okay. Now, the Boko Haram, for good luck. Hold on. Boko Haram, don't want to, 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 don't want